Hi, I'm Mike. And today we do things a little bit differently as we herd some animals with the drone, but not the ones you think. And we move our pigs to their new apartment on the project list on our Wyoming Life. <laughs> Back when my father-in-law Gilbert was around, he cared about two things, the cows and the cats. He was a huge fan of the cats. In fact, later in his life, they became the one thing he knew that he could take care of. As illness slowed him down, he couldn't work with the cows anymore, but the cats, they were always waiting for him every day when he came to visit the ranch. The more I think of it, the more he may have been onto something, not cats in particular, but the importance of other animals out here on the ranch. The ranch is not just cows alone, as many people who would love to see me work cattle every single week would probably be somewhat disappointed to find out. A ranch is made up of hundreds of different parts and all have to work together to keep the ranch going, from chickens to pigs, and yeah, even cats. We're all part of a bigger picture. So let me introduce this little girl. This is, well, this girl was found in the barn, abandoned here a couple weeks ago. She's a friendly little thing, and Grace was quick to name her Sarah. Turns out, though, let go of me, Sarah is a boy. So, it's become Mr. Sarah. I'd like to think that the bigger the animal, the more important they are. But even these little guys have their jobs to do. And just like us, it's right behind us. This is the project list, a place where jobs that need done around here get put up on the board. It shrinks and it grows, and sometimes the jobs are a little odd, like the last one that Aaron added last night. As the temperature drops and the snow falls, these geese are out wandering around, Aaron's geese, and all summer long they've had their run of the ranch. From this, I'm guessing that Aaron wants the chickens back, or the geese, back in the chicken house for winter, where we can keep track of them. It's not as simple as it sounds. They're hard to catch, and they're even harder to herd, but we're gonna do our best. First, we have to find them. The drone will come in handy for this, a Phantom 3 from DJI. So, let's don the sunglasses as the snow reflects everything out there and get to work. Flying the drone isn't as hard as it looks, and with my phone, I can monitor and see the picture that the drone sees as it flies around. We head out into the pasture where the geese have been hanging out for the last, uh, well, pretty much all summer long, and we start looking for them. All the while, we get to stay close to home. I really haven't used the drone for that much search and rescue around the ranch, but it seems like a great testing ground. Although, we don't find a thing. As we head over to take a look at another hay field they've been known to hang out in, we can stop by and take a gander at Bubbles, still hanging out in his corral, enjoying a few extra days on the ranch due to weather. He's still not very happy about being separated from the other bulls, but food helps. Heading out in the hay field, we get a glimpse at our targets, and like a heat-seeking missile, we lock on. Now, today is already weird enough. So let's add to it and see if we can guide these four geese into the chicken house with only the drone. Never had to do this before. In fact, it ranks about an eight on my weird crap meter but what the heck, let's give it a go. The chicken house isn't too far away, but who knows how these guys are gonna react. Oddly enough, it works pretty well, and the crowd goes wild. Chalk that one up to dumb luck. The next stop is the pig pen, where the pigs are patiently waiting to be moved into their new stall and some fresh digs. For the last few months, the pigs have been living in one stall together. Now as they're getting bigger, it's getting more and more cramped in there. And with winter here, they need, we need to move them away from their water and make sure that they have a dry place to bed down. Pigs and water always means a mess, and soon we'll be building our winter watering system. But for right now, we're going to open up the stall next to them so they have a nice, clean, dry place to sleep. 
keeping food and water on the other side for now. Soon, their food will move into this side too, making the other side an accessible and easily cleaned bathroom. Pigs are crazy and fun animals, although realistically they're kind of a pain. These guys are gonna get cold, and because of that, we're gonna put in some straw for them to bed down in. Four bales should cover the ground pretty well, and with temperatures dropping down into the 20s for the next few nights, they're sure gonna appreciate the cover. With that done, then it's time to let them in. A sheet of lumber currently closes them off from this side, but as they're banging at the door, they know they want in. And when the door comes down, here they come. Happier than a bunch of pigs and, well, a clean stall. Next up is to clean the old stall and move the feeders, but for now I'm gonna cut you loose. I have a new group of hunters coming out here in a few minutes actually, and I have to give them the dime tour before they head out. You've still got time to get entered in to win my summer hat, a Stetson straw hat, size seven and a quarter. So check out the description for the link to get yourself entered there. Aaron has a new video coming out on Thursday and keep an eye on our social media as Aaron and I will both be appearing on XM Radio on Wednesday afternoon. An interview with Julie Rose. We'll be posting the time and the channel for that, uh, which it'll be airing on probably Wednesday morning, I'm guessing. I'm out of here, but I will see you again. Until then, have a great week and thanks for joining us in our Wyoming Life. <laughs>